Going on Channel 2 Action News. New at 5, a Marietta attorney has had to hire a lawyer of her own after being charged with participating in the mailbox bombing at another attorney's office. Channel 2's Ross Cavett spent the day trying to unravel the bizarre facts in this case that has a lot of people in the Cobb County Courthouse talking. And Ross joins us live in Marietta with what happened. Yeah, serious felony charges in this case. This is all that's left of the mailbox at the Atlanta Road Law Office here in Marietta. The witness was a paralegal. She saw the whole thing happen, the mailbox explode. She was with her kids near her car in that parking lot right behind me, not far from the mailbox at all. She also recognized the getaway vehicle, a distinctive yellow Hummer that she says is normally parked at a lawyer's office just around the corner. She saw the occupant get out of it, place something into the mailbox, and then get back into the Hummer. And then as the Hummer drived off, the mailbox exploded, sending a great deal of shrapnel all over the place. All that's left now of the law office's mailbox is a post. These are police pictures of the mailbox right after it exploded. They don't know yet what caused the blast, but do say it was big. Had it been a post office employee or anybody else that was checking the mail, uh, really somebody could have potentially been killed by this. The witness told police the Yellow Hummer belonged to a neighboring lawyer, Angel Cordell, who practices law at a building around the corner. In fact, we saw the Hummer there today. Police charged Cordell, a divorce and family practice lawyer, with a felony charge of criminal damage, and they charged David Haynes with actually placing the device in the box. Haynes is one of Cordell's clients, but the law office hit apparently had nothing to do with his divorce case. Right now, we don't have a motive as to why uh, this has taken place, um, and all of that is still currently under investigation. I'm trying to get Angel Cordell. She's not there. We went to Angel Cordell's office to try to speak with her. Her assistant says she wasn't around, but later she called and gave me a brief statement saying, I have cooperated with police from the beginning and continue to cooperate with police to find the vandals responsible. No one answered the door at David Haynes' home not far from the law offices. Folks in the law office who lost their mailbox didn't want to appear on camera, but appeared still shaken and unsure why they had been targeted. And we looked at an arrest warrant in this case a short time ago that says lawyer Angel Cordell admitted that she drove her Hummer to this location on the night of the bombing. But I talked to the lawyer's lawyer who says the facts, as he knows them, does not match up with police say happened here. And again, I talked to someone in this building it houses a number of lawyers they said they are all mystified why they were targeted in marietta ross cabin channel 2 action news